Today we are looking at generating subsets using recursive functions, okay, in C++. We are always exploring new topics on this channel, so, you know, please subscribe. Um, so this, this is an introductory question from CSES problem set. So it, it should be pretty easy. Um, so let's look at it first. So there are n apples with known weights. Basically, just find all of the subsets for all of the division of the apples, okay? And then you just find the minimum value of the difference in weight, which is not that hard to do, okay? So let's start um, solving this question with an example, okay? Um, so here are three apples, one, two, three, whatever the unit it is. So it doesn't really matter here. So this is the mass of the three apples. A one and two and three. Now we are using the recursive function. So let's draw the recursive tree. So you know how it works. Starting with the first iteration, there's nothing in the bracket. There's nothing in the subset because it's the you know it's the first iteration. It doesn't really mean anything. So now um, to write it in code, it is in form of like um uh. We'll look at code later. So here, basically, the idea is just divide, derive all of the possible combination of the subsets here. Divide it into two subsets. Okay, we have to use two variables to hold the mass for each group of apples here. So S1 will be the mass for the first group of apples. And um, M1. And S2 will be the... How about we just use m1 and m2 but it doesn't really matter here it's just a variable okay so s1 and s2 holds hold the mass for each group of p of the apple and um in the first bracket there should be s1 and s2 but now because the tree hasn't grown yet okay it has no depth here so it's just two empty sums here empty variable and um, it doesn't really matter. And let's move on to the first step. When i is equal to one, when the iteration starts, actually starts. Um, so in the code, this is how we actually write it. Solve. But the idea here is just divide it. So and we'll just look at the code later. Um, S1 and S2. And here is the first iteration, S1, the first variable, the first mass is added to each sum here. So as the tree goes, at the first depth, um, here should be 1, 0, it should be 0, 1. This is the first possibility, or you can say it's the original possibility. That is a stupid term, but um, please bear with me. Um, and the first term divides into next two terms, which we are growing our tree here. And the second variable is taken to the S1 and S2 and added to the next part of the tree, the next depth of the tree, when the depth is equal to two, which means the second iteration of the tree. Then we have three, zero, um, one, two, and the next iteration. Next iteration, we'll, we, we take three, the mass three into our variables. And the um, first possibility, second possibility. And um, this one is just four, two, and uh, one, Using the same logic, we can derive all of the branches for our tree, but um, it is not necessary here because we have already illustrated the logic behind the code. And now we can actually get to the coding part. Um, yeah, the coding part. Oh, never mind. I'll tap it again. So basically, we have to um, define a variable here, which is the total, the maximum depth of our tree. The maximum depth is just the furthest you can go on this tree, which is, which means, 
just the deepest, the deepest part of the tree. There's where we get the minimum value of the difference in weight. And um, there's another thing we have to define here, which is just um, you know, the mass of all of the apples. And now we can write out our function. I decided to use long long here because um, you know, doesn't really matter. Just more lovely. No, it's I. And um, if not, if the end has not been reached, we have to call a function again within the function, which is the recursive part. one is i plus one here we have we have to keep the function going okay if it's just i the iteration is the loop is gonna be run for once and um, nothing would happen we just get to the first step of our tree To our main function, and, um, for t, t, I, now we just um, output the result of our function. There's really nothing special here. We'll get into a harder recursive question in the next few videos, so please stay tuned. And I'm glad if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.